Hi, I'm Michelle McCullough. Today's business tip is all about social media. With so many different social media outlets out there, it can be overwhelming and fast. So my best tip for you is to kind of have a presence in each of those locations, Google+, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and any other outlet that is good for you and your business. Also keeping in mind that you'll want to strategically pick those that match your industry, whether you are in a business to business market or in a business to consumer market. But once you have a presence in all of those locations, it's really difficult to have a social media strategy that can help you be really strong in all of those outlets, unless you want to quit what you're doing to make money and only be a social media strategist. But for busy entrepreneurs who are trying to wear many hats in business, it's really critical to pick one or two social media outlets where you can really be strong. Remember that the purpose of social media is twofold. The first is for you to find an outlet to get people back to your business and your home court advantage. Your website or your retail location is your best home court advantage. And when you're on Facebook and Twitter, there's lots of other distractions. There's ads, there's updates from other people, and people may have a difficult time staying in your message and in your spot. So you're going to try to make your goal in social media to get people back to your home court advantage where the messages are less cluttered and you can control what people see. So think about that as you choose the outlets, which outlets will help you best get people back to your site to drive traffic and to make sure you're getting your branding messages seen. The second goal for social media is to remember that people are there for personal reasons and that they want to build a sense of community. And you can help facilitate that through your pages and through your updates and tweets and posts and pictures by helping people feel involved in something bigger involved in a cause, involved in a movement. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have some sort of nonprofit, but try to figure out how to cultivate a sense of community on your Facebook page or through Twitter by asking questions and being interactive. So as you think about your social media strategy, remember those two things. First, that your goal should always be to get people back to your home court advantage. And second, of how you can create a community. And when you ask yourself those questions, it'll be easy to decide, is Pinterest the right place for you? Or is it Twitter? Is it Facebook or is it LinkedIn? Think about your strategy, think about your business, and maybe have a presence. But again, the goal is to find a way to focus so that you can really go deep in one specific area in social media and really find a strategic focus there. So that's my tip for the week in marketing and in business strategy. I wish you all the best. Until I see you again, go make it happen.